Hey, how you doing? This is Gary Bledsoe coming to you from my home office in San Antonio, Texas. And let me ask you a question. Have you ever had one of those days? Because, you know, technology is changing. It's advancing. I always say that two years in the technological world, in the information world, in the information age, and to technology advancement age, it's like almost 10 years. Like, for example, you buy your new iPhone. Next, you know, next year, a newer iPhone comes out. Have you ever had those days where you're working on your computer or you're trying to learn something on your computer and it just don't want to act right? And you feel like you want to do this? Well, I'm just like you. I felt that exact same way when I first got started. And, uh, you know, losing computers and learning all about computers. I, I used to get real frustrated. And, you know, it's funny how the time went on. And now I have a degrees. I have, uh, you know, computer science. I know how to, you know, take a computer apart, laptop apart, put it together. I know how to build computers. I actually built a computer from scratch. Uh, you know, uh, right now, you know, I, I spent about six, seven hundred dollars on the parts. And, and the computer's worth about three, four thousand dollars with the, all the upgrades and stuff I put in it. But at that one point when I really, truly didn't know... Um, I had to look and see what should I do. And I'm talking to the people out there who may say, you know, I hear a lot of this all the time. I'm technologically, uh, you know, uh, illiterate. I, I'm, I don't really know. Um, well, I always say ignorance to me is just a lack of knowledge. It just You have a lack of knowledge of exactly what to, to do to, to solve your problem. So if you're an internet marketer or a person that, that has a business and you use the internet, don't ever feel like you can't. Uh, solve your problems or you, 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 you shouldn't be frustrated when you don't know what's going on. I'm going to give you five things that I do that really truly help me when I get frustrated. Because still to this day, I still get frustrated. The other day I was cleaning my, my, uh, my I call it my, my movie computer. I call it the Juggernaut, you know, aka the Juggernaut, the biggest computer, one that's worth about three or $4,000. I was cleaning the dust out, the, the dust inside out the other day, and 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 then when I when I put it back together, it, it just it wasn't accurate. And I had to figure out what it was that I did. So the first thing that I do when when things don't go right, when I'm dealing with technology, is number one, I stop, slow down, and I breathe. I stop, I slow down, and I breathe. Why? Because if you try to take care of your problem while you're frustrated. You, your mind is not going to, your brain chemistry is not going to register right. Your mind is not going to register right. And you're going to look to, you, you're going to do things in haste. You're not going to do it correctly. You're not going to uh, implement it or fix it correctly. You're going to be in, in, in haste. Things are just like not going to work for you. That's the first thing you should do. Slow down and breathe. The second thing you should do is accept that it's okay to not know the answer. A lot of times we feel like idiots. We feel like dummies. We, you know, I've had people send me emails saying, I'm so stupid. I realize, you know, I made a dumb mistake. It's not a dumb mistake. It's when, you know, in order for you to learn something, you have to go through something to, to learn something that you never learned before. So that's a learning process. It's okay. Accept that it's okay to not know what the exact answer is. It's perfectly fine. That's what, you know, I had to do that. I had to realize it because I'm the type of person out, you know, back in the days, I used to want to be a perfectionist to get everything right all the time. And I had to realize you can't accept that things is, that it's okay to not know the answer to what you want. Number three, begin to realize that there's an answer to your problem. It's out there somewhere. You just, you got to realize that there's an answer. You know, now when I look at computers, I say to myself, and I look at technology, I always say to myself, there is not one thing that a computer program can throw at me or a software problem or anything can throw at me or, or anything that I can't figure out how to fix it. Like right now, I'm having a, a problem with my WordPress. I have problems with some of my plugins on my WordPress. And I've done everything that I know in my technological uh, knowledge to take care of it. And it's not working the way I want. So I actually had to hire a third-party person to help me out. And he's looking into it right now. But that's just showing you that I, I know that I don't know the answer all the time. But I, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna realize that there is an answer out there. I know that he's gonna fix it, or somebody's gonna fix it, or, or somehow I'm gonna rewrite the whole website program, or whatever I'm gonna do to get it right. I'm gonna make it. It may not take tonight. It may not take tomorrow night. It may not take a week. But I'm gonna get it right. So realize number three. Be, begin to realize that there is an answer out there to your problem. You just gotta realize that you just go out there and look for it. And number four, 
Use 30 party resources to find your answer. Speaking about what I said earlier, I, I know how to make computers, you know, build computers from scratch, take them apart, uh, swap, upgrade, do whatever you want me to do to a computer. Guess how I learned about how to build computers? From a gentleman named Bucky on YouTube. I have no idea who he is, but this guy put together a series of videotapes on how to build a computer from scratch. This is before I had my computer degrees. This is before I had any networking degrees, before I went to any kind of colleges, before anything. I actually studied Bucky every single day. I would listen to what he said. I bought the products that he want me that he said I needed to buy, and I made my first computer from scratch. And that computer to this day is actually my wife's desktop. You know, she has a laptop, and I have a laptop, but she has a desktop that I actually built from scratch. And I mean, the, the advancements I put on it really it it, it 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 was it was fun. I mean, I, I I realized that using a third party resource was a way that I can actually get my technological knowledge without av actually having to go to school. I mean, YouTube is a free resource. Whenever I want to learn something, I'm always googling it. How can I do this? How can I do that? What can I do about this? That's how I learned that I need to hire a third party resource to fix my website recently because of the fact that what the error message I kept getting. So use third party resources to find your answer. You, the answer is definitely out there. You just got to learn to look for it. Use third party resources. And number five, take your time when you implement the solution. A lot of times we implement the solution the first time and it doesn't work and we get mad and say, hey, you just told me, just, I just learned how to do it this way, but why is it not working? Maybe it's that one little adjustment. I know that when you put a memory card, a memory uh uh, slot inside of the slot in the memory to, for your computer called RAM, uh, random access memory. When you put that inside there, if you if you lift it up like a hairline a little bit and, and you don't put it correctly in there, guess what happens? It won't register correctly. So you may have to take it out and then reset it, reset it inside the, the slot again. That happens. That you you don't know what it is that you're doing. So just take your time and implement your solution and do it step by step. And I guarantee you'll you'll find that you have the same ability. To, to do things that other people can do that seem like they're geniuses. You know, I teach people how to make certain images and uh, edit certain videos online. And I guess how I learned that? I took my time when I was implementing the solution that I was trying to, when I was trying to learn how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. There's some people, I still don't know how the things they do to, to this day, but I take my time and I learn it. And I say, you know what, when I'm going to implement it, I'm going to make sure I take it Step by step by step. Not now. They don't get me wrong. Don't wait to learn everything. You gotta make mistakes. You gotta take action. You gotta go ahead and have problems I and mean, situations that happen. But you'll never ever finish it correctly if you don't implement it by taking your time, by making that mistake, then going over again, taking your time again, and then fixing that problem. So I hope these five steps. Let me recap them for you. Slow down and breathe. Stop, slow down, and breathe when you have a problem. Number two, accept that it's okay to not know the answer when you're dealing with technology. Number three, begin to realize an answer to your problem is out there. You just got to go find it. Number four, don't be afraid to use third-party resources to find your answer. And number five, take your time when you're implementing the solution or the answer to your problem. Believe me, when you try to do it in haste, it winds up making waste. I hope this helped you. And if you want more tips and more motivation and more inspiration, please feel free to visit my website, whoisgarybledsoe.com. And, and, and I, I, will, I have a whole supply of stuff that's perfect for you. And make sure you get some of my free videos and some of my uh, uh, and my free report that I have for everybody. Go go out there and get this free report about how to generate endless leads online by using the marketing system that I have. So I look forward to seeing you. Stay blessed and see you at the top. Smash!